there's a way to make an entrance. <laughs> My destiny. It was now a conspiracy of witches. Download Veely today. I'm Sarah Richardson. This is Jim. This is Mary. This is their blank slate of a living space. And this is what their living space looks like now, thanks to some help from Design Inc. Yes, another day when a sit-down lunch is just a pipe dream. Gotta get on the road to Mary and Jim's place. Just over nine months in their condo, only one piece of furniture to show for it. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Must be easy to clean. I've seen college apartments with more furniture. I can't tell you how many things we've bought and returned. To be fair, it's not necessarily indecisiveness. Mary and Jim have unique jobs as train engineers. In fact, Mary is the first female engineer in Canada. Do you ever pass each other? All the time. All the 100 time. miles an hour. We don't even wave. When you're here, you want this to be kind of relaxing. Yeah. Absolutely. Mary and Jim's wish list is short. Obviously relax and be at home and ourselves, but then occasionally we need to entertain. And a functional eating situation here, like a right. table, that's our dinner table right now. So okay, yep, dinner for two only. Yeah. <laughs> Any overall feeling they're after? I like the pale color tone. Colorful, but just light and airy, I light guess. Light and warm word. as opposed to, you know, dark and... Absolutely. Okay. And the open kitchen? It looks like a bit of a cave down here sometimes. I maybe do something to lead you into it more. Yeah. And finally, the foyer. The hallway is fairly long. There's so many doors leading off it, but you sort of get here, and there's nothing drawing you forward. Some of this may be able to be addressed just with colors, because I think that's that's a real stumbling point for a lot of people with an open concept home, mm -hmm. is that they just, it's one color, and that's that. One last, one last important question. You, are you quick decision makers? Yeah, but I think so. <laughs> that was um. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We're kind of Okay. This place is running on empty. Kate's going to take it from collegiate to contemporary in just a... 16 feet. If the sofa's staying, the foliage has got to go. It might be nice on the porch, you know. Let's see now, where to begin? Ta-da! Fabrics. I think what you're, where you're going here is a good idea because I think you'll be able to get some sort of sense of who they are as far as color palette goes. Seafoam squares, no. Just say no to seafoam. <laughs> That's graphic. And not exactly what I had in mind. Wow. It's the Holstein collection. <laughs> Yikes. We've got the entry hall, which I think needs some serious wow factor. Mm -hmm. um, I was wondering if we could get them to do a wallpaper or a treatment or something somewhere to kind of make the walls come alive. Might be a good way to make some impact. You can run it the other direction as well, which most people don't think about doing. Um, and it can widen the space. And the $64,000 question? And one of the things we really do have to nail down quickly is what's happening with the sofa. I think they want you to say the think, sofa can stay or the sofa has to go. I think they want me to say that the sofa has to go. That's my gut. Staying on the clock means presenting our ideas to Mary and Jim as they shop. There's already too many choices. Like them, like them, like them, like them. Really? I do. It can't be that easy. Yeah, but I can't narrow it down. That's the problem. Well, you're going to have to. I think I like these better now, now that I see. This versus this. Yeah, this palette here. Getting close. Perhaps picking a rug will help clinch the deal. So this is the same rug, different color. This was meant to confuse us, wasn't it, Kate? Yes. I do like it. Do you like the first one better? I did. I do. Really? Do you want me to work on this a bit for you? You know what? It's the fabrics I like more than the rug, I think. Okay. So I think a, a better choice rug to go with the fabric. Okay. Mm, this all sounds like a maybe to me. We need to narrow it down some. In spite of what everybody says, I'm not afraid of commitment. I'm afraid of fabric and rug commitment, though. I like it, but I don't love it. You gotta love it. I don't love it. 
Perhaps looking at some furniture will spark some decision making. Tell me what you think about that console. So so. Too shiny. Hate it. It looks like some of these spectacles that are broken or something like that. <laughs> Kate's being put to the test. Show me something you love. Love. I like a lot of things. I don't really love anything yet. That's the problem. I think we're trying so hard, or I'm trying so hard, to make it just perfect in every way. And instead, I can't make a decision if my life depended. Although Sarah would kill me because she did ask us if we could make decisions quickly, and I don't think I can anymore. Whatever happened to... Our first visit with Jim and Mary should have clued us in on their likes and dislikes. I can't tell you how many things we've bought and returned. We're giving them lots of options, which isn't helping. I like everything now. It's enough to make Jim and Mary hit the rails, for work that is, so we're finding ways to make that empty space a home. So we need dining table, dining chairs, we need a credenza, we need storage, we need a coffee table, we need end tables. In other words, they need everything. We're creating a clean contemporary space, a welcome home from long days on the road. Not too fussy. It's okay. Not too high maintenance, yet with a bit of flair. That's nice. Yep. I like that. I really like this mirror. I'd say that's batting a thousand. At least I like it all. Mary and Jim, another question entirely. We went shopping for some rugs, and yes. I thought I was excited. I thought we were going with perhaps some greens or perhaps some rusts. Yes. And then we got home, and they like the ivory rug, and they want a blue and camel scheme. Okay. Everybody, Everybody wants, wants blue it. and camel. <laughs> I like everything that you have here. Okay. I think you've got a really, really strong collection, and I'd go with it. At Design Inc., we're used to meeting clients at work. This is the first time that work could roll away at any minute. Hi, guys. All aboard. This train is going nowhere until we lock down some sort of direction, even a start. So what I've actually done is assigned um, specific homes to these fabrics, and mm -hmm. maybe then you can get a better idea of how it's all going to come together. Okay. Sofa, which is staying. Cocoa chairs. Mm -hmm. Yes. Batting a thousand. I like the texture of that. I was going to say yeah. that, yeah. yeah. Either this or this for your dining chairs. I like this fabric. I don't know if I'd want it on the dining chairs, though. How about wallpaper? Yeah. So rather than running it this way, mm -hmm. which most people would do, we'll mm -hmm. run it this way. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'm not sure what which is going to work better. What I suggest you do is go home and tape them on the wall. Right. Okay. See what happens. Okay. Just when you think things are moving forward. This train is off the track. Okay, what happened? I got nothing. Do they like any of it? Are we getting close? Uh, they do, but nothing, like, there's been no, I love it, this is perfect. What about all the fabrics? Because we sell a lot of fabrics. Oh, yeah, there's that. I think I'm getting it. So we switched to camel and blue, um, but now she's finding it a bit murky. They have decided they no longer want to keep their sectional and want to start from scratch. Okay. So we need a sofa in about 12 days. Yeah. It seems Mary and Jim have got to see things in place before saying yes or no. Good thing the sofa's leaving. The canvas is now totally blank. The good thing about getting rid of the sectional is it opens up a lot more possibilities to have this space look better because the sectional was really sort of bossing us around with sure. that chrome base. So and you totally called it. You knew that I had a they feeling. were on the fence. Yeah. I think they want me to say that the sofa has to go. That's my gut. But I just didn't, I didn't want to be the one. I mean, that's a big chunk of the budget and I didn't like the idea of getting them to toss it something they already had. But I should have pushed harder at the beginning. Anyway, so it's gone. Okay, now to fill this condo. That's very nice, actually. I like that. It's like going to the hairdresser. Just like the magazine. <laughs> <laughs> that might not work now, you know that. Did I just wreck it for you? A little bit. Great. That's it, Kate. Talk Mary out of making decisions. Does yours have padding? My bum has more padding. Oh, wow. That's nice. They got more comfortable. Now that's more like it. I don't get it. It's art. It's a little too urban jungle. I like it. It's just I think it's too big. Okay. <laughs> For 90% of the time, it's Jim and I. So I'll we'll sit here and he can sit at that's the end. That's the potato. Oh, so a chair cheer. Better bum support. <laughs> Now that we've visited almost every store in town, let's hope we've got some decisions happening. I might have wrecked it because I stood under it like a 
dryer in a hair salon? <laughs> Kate, the last thing we need is you. I know. She said, oh, I think you've wrecked it for me forever. Oh, uh, and that would have filled up the space. <laughs> but it's not a total loss. Dining chair. Yeah. Table. Table. Okay. Sofa. They're fine with the nine foot. Okay. And interestingly, their sectional is actually bigger than nine feet. Great. But some of the choices I'm not so hot on, like the rug. Boring. I actually found a whole bunch of rugs on sale. At this stage of the game, the only thing that's going to work for Mary and Jim is to let them live with things before making a decision. If there's something that is in stock, let's just get out there, pick it up, and take it in there. That sounds like a good plan. If this doesn't work, I may run myself out of town. Mary and Jim drive trains for a living. We're just on the road all the time like gypsies. Decisions have been hard to come by. We're hardly moving ahead. I got nothing. Do they like any of it? Are we getting close? We've taken them almost everywhere, delivered stuff to their home, and it's working. Jim and Mary have bought a rug, one of the rugs that I found yesterday. They have committed to a new sofa, fabric for the chairs, and they've found dining room chairs that they like. So Kate is feeling very, very good about things. And so am I. We're hoping our lucky streak continues. I love it. These chairs, I love them. Yep. I just find they're very wide chairs, mm -hmm. so. Let's talk about those chairs briefly. I love them. Okay, I good. think they're fantastic. When I first saw them, I thought, oh no, Jim won't like them. He sat in it and loved it. Loved them. Just loved well, it. Well, he's kind of a loungy guy. Definitely excited seeing stuff in the space. That makes a huge difference because you, you go into the stores, you try to visualize how it fits in, and you can't imagine it. After a busy day on another project, I'm hitting the road to Mary and Jim's, just as everyone else is leaving the office for home. Good choice on the rug, Sarah. Do you like it? I love it. I, I love it. like it. Score one for us. Now, what about the dining table? That space looks very crowded to me. The other thing we can do is we can swing the table so the table comes like a peninsula. Oh. We can give it a whirl, but this table's clearly too big. Whichever way this table is sitting, it's too long coming into the living room now. Mm -hmm. And the other way, I think you were feeling it was too far coming into I think so, this space. I think the chair quite far up against the wall, so yeah. you'd have to actually pull it out a little bit more just to get in in that seat. The table's going back. How about a decision on paint colors? I love this. I think maybe what we could do is we could think about playing around with them. We could take this and we could wrap it down across, but maybe we go a little bit lighter on mm -hmm. the wall that's gonna have the TV. And then we could even put a third for the kitchen area. Easy enough. What about our horizontal wallpaper idea? I think we wanna be able to do something that kind of says you know, welcome or, or that kind of defines this area. Come on in. Come on in, we have wallpaper. If you stand back here, what this does is, if you look through to the living room, this actually helps pull out the color a little bit from the rug. I know what you're thinking. Putting bars on the bar may be a bit literal, but they'll play off the wallpaper treatment. It looks just like the wallpaper. Yeah, exactly. So when you're sitting down there, you get it referenced here and there. Good, huh? Oh, I like it. Great. Let's give it a try. See how the wallpaper actually looks on the wall. We've passed the point of no return. Mary and Jim are feeling totally comfortable letting us go, and we're moving ahead. Is this Some. the only finish? I cannot thank you enough for coming to help me. No, sometimes you just need a fresh pair of eyes. Exactly. Eyes work. You know? My eyes are weary. I think it's fantastic. I think this would be great. We could perhaps this mm -hmm. this could be like, so if your television was here, it could be like, this is what it would look like. Hi. All right, we did well. This is exactly the color of the bar. It's coming together. Okay, thanks for all your help. That was Sarah. Yeah. Um, she's out shopping too, and she found us a side table. She found some vases. She found um, some additional accessories. So I think we're in good shape. And we have here. It's been a long haul, but we're all on board to make Mary and Jim's condo their refuge from the rails. Whoa, look at the wallpaper. Gorgeous. It's fabulous. Okay, okay. That's a hard-working designer. Hi. Uh, I have a couple missions. 
One, could you go and look for some art? We've got a lot of wall space, okay. uh, and you have a great eye. This is gonna be the one. You think? Yeah, she mentioned to me on the phone when she was saying go and get art, uh, she mentioned this piece. And I know she loves that art. That's really good. Those are gorgeous. So that stretches, especially with a four cushion couch. Brilliant, you perfect. to stretch out, so that might work. Perfect, out. I think we should try that for sure. Yes, you and I made huge strides yesterday finding furniture, so if you well, can- Take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> <laughs> if you can just uh, be here when Larry brings it in and start to position things and play with things, figure out what you think looks best where. Nat, if you can give her a hand, that'd be amazing. Sure. You know, it's taken a while to jog decision-making here, and I'm not about to leave this nine-foot sofa in their building lobby. Oh, oh, oh. Hi, guys. Hello. When I design a condo, I'm gonna make sure it has tall elevators and big stairwells. As if. You can barely get a seven-foot sofa yeah. out there. Our only hope is that we can haul it up the side of the building, which is never something I like to do. If it falls, the thing's gonna smash. If it hits a window, we're gonna have damage. If it doesn't go through the balcony, we don't do this today. We come back in eight weeks when we have a new sofa. Does it get any more exciting than this? Mary and Jim's condo was all but bare. I can't tell you how many things we've bought and returned. Making it work is why we're there. I like it, but I don't love it. Now almost done and the sofa won't fit anywhere. Oh. So we're doing the unthinkable in hoisting it up and over the balcony. Luckily, we've got some muscle. Don't make you do it yourself, you're so strong. Yep, this just might work. Pull the rope. Go straight up, David. Hey, Jen. It's Mary. No. Okay. Pull it. You have to lift that all a little. Larry, you're the best. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Nine foot sofas, yeah. Um, I think I'll be making them in two pieces from now on, just in case. <laughs> oh, it's not the right fabric. No, just kidding. <laughs> Enough jokes. Let's finish this living room. Take this thing off. For the last time. For a year. That is Isn't that great? Beautiful. It's so fun. This, where do you got Keith Richards in the closet? Now, where do these normally live? Um, normally these would be, um... Because this one works with our scheme, but they're all thrown in matches It's a good feeling when things come together. Oh, Guys, this is the 95th and final piece going up, being glued. Love you, 95. Have a nice hang. We decided that we wanted to install this paper horizontally instead of vertically. What we found out once we got into it was that all the walls, while they look straight, are not. Fortunately, we all love it now that it's done uh, because it was a huge extra amount of work to get it there. Well, that looks like fun. Yeah, yeah, just leave it to me. <laughs> I think we need our chief assembler, Natalie, on this case. What are you trying to say? <laughs> Look at how chic that is, like seriously. What is it about this lamp? Look at the front with the stripe though in the back. Yeah, That's my fave. It's gorgeous. We sort of went from zero to 60 in this space. We had a sofa which we thought was here to stay at the beginning. We came to realize that that piece of furniture wasn't staying. Right at the beginning, we, we definitely had our doubts about the first couch we had purchased. We were not overly impressed with the uh, the quality of it. And the design ink team was totally flexible. When we decided, oh, we, the old couch is gone, well, they said, no, no problem, and they just moved on right ahead. I think they were kind of waiting on that or hoping for that almost, I think. You totally called it. You knew that I had a they feeling. were on the fence. Yeah, we sort of had to take a little bit of a step back, uh, which in the end was fantastic because we were able to start from ground zero and just start with a fresh palette. At times during the uh, process, we were a little doubtful. You know, you, you just have, don't have the vision. I've lost sleep over it. I just thinking, oh, how are they going to make this work? I can't see that happening. And I don't know about that color. And uh, if she just had given me the picture of this before she had done it, I would have slept like a baby for the last two months. Uh, no, go closer to the, go take the right, there. No outfit is complete without accessories, and no space is finished without the artwork. And having original paintings in here is just the final touch today that's put this place right over the top, and I think it's what really makes it feel like home. Yeah. Each piece is contemporary in feel, yet has a soft, comfortable ease to it. And it's not all just a single note 
boxy, contemporary approach. Doing ring tone. Okay. I think we've probably looked at 30 dining tables. Uh, we've brought two in. Fortunately, the one that's here now is here to stay. I hate to think how many stores Kate and I actually went to. Between the two of us, we've probably hit about 30 stores, I'd say, in total. We never could have pulled this off if we'd just done a one-stop shop. We live on the road, so it's, it's great to have a place like this to come home to. It's, it's, it's just smashing and comfortable. And, uh, it's, uh, it'll make it a, more of a, a house into a home. I said to Jim once we bought the condo, you know, my dream would, de would be to have Design Inc. come in and, and Sarah come in and design it. And it came true, and it's bigger and better than I ever expected. Everything is just comfortable and cozy, and uh, I can't wait for you guys to leave so we can relax. <laughs>